Hi, my name is Noelle Mioe, and welcome to day two of the Bathroom Remodeling Project. Yesterday, I cleared out and cleaned up the bathroom. I installed new lighting and refurbished my bathroom vanity sink. Today, I'm gonna to freshen up two of the walls with a brand new coat of paint. I am going to uh, bring in some storage solutions, and I'm also gonna bring in new accessories and decor pieces to liven up the space a bit. To start day two, I'm giving the bathroom a new coat of paint. My color of choice is Wisteria Blue, which I'm only painting on two of the room's walls. It goes on pretty light, but it will dry much darker. Now I'll let the room dry for a few hours while I work on other aspects of the room. To solve the storage problem in this small bathroom, what I ended up getting was this shoe cabinet. It's built so that the drawers don't actually come out all the way. This will allow me to use it for anything else that I want. Bottles, towels, anything that I need storage for. This is definitely going to solve my storage problem. So, while the paint is drying, I'm going to go shopping and find some cool things to decorate my bathroom with. See you when I get back. Hey, so I'm back from the store and I got some great things. And originally, I was going to show you what I got after I came back, but I decided, why not wait until it's in the space? So you just have to wait a little bit longer and you get to see the product of all my hard work. On day one, I removed the old cracked and discolored caulking from around the sink and repainted the area. Today, I'm applying new clear, mold and water resistant caulking around the seams of the sink top to prevent leakage and future damage. A great way to create a cohesive look amongst an eclectic arrangement of furnishings in one space is to match the hardware. All it requires is a quick stop at your local hardware store. One fun thing that I picked up was this accordion style magnifying mirror, which is an affordable and practical way to add a bit of elegance to any bathroom. Its silver finish went so well with my silver trimmed medicine cabinet mirror that it inspired me to pick up a few more practical silver pieces, like this hand towel ring and this little silver hook I'll use for hanging jewelry. For the boring wall in my bathroom above the tower racks, I decided I wanted to do something interesting. So what I did was get a bunch of picture frames and go online and print out some prints and images that I really liked and I'm going to create my own gallery. So I just put up my last print. Doesn't my wall look great? It's colorful, it's bright, it's playful and fun. I found prints that are a mixture of vintage and funny and peaceful and really eclectic and interesting like the style that I like to work with. I played with a lot of different elements in this space that I think really make it interesting and fun and warm and inviting. I have lots of colors in this bathroom. I found all kinds of pieces um, that are really interesting and playful and surprising to put in the space. And look how much brighter it is in here. It's amazing what lighting can really do to a space. It opens it up and it makes it more relaxing and fun to be in, just the fact that you can actually see in this space and how the shower is no longer a dark hole anymore, which is fantastic. And I think it turned out really great. I'm really happy with everything about the bathroom. So, I budgeted myself two days and $300 to transform my boring yet promising small bathroom into an energized, colorful, and eclectic space. In the process, I solved my lighting problems, storage issues, and livened up my lackluster aesthetic using creativity, a bit of elbow grease, and a vision for what the space could be. So how did I do with my budget? I spent $292.61, which got me new lighting, storage, hardware, paint, and of course, accessories galore. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you for following me on this journey through this bathroom update, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below. Um, tell me what you think about it, whether you like it or don't like it. Hopefully you like it. Um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, um, at my blog, uh, myartisticbliss.com. And thank you for watching. I hope that you uh, stay tuned for my next video.